What's up everyone? This is Lord John Aminor. We're gonna play some Escape from Tarkov, the beta testing today. And I'm really looking forward to playing this game. This game is actually really awesome. It has really nice graphics, it's pretty realistic, there's gone a lot of effort into designing this game. You can most definitely tell it by the way the guns look, by the way the game plays, how it feels. It just feels really intense, man. It's really awesome. So what do we... Uh, let's just make it very simple, you know. We're in this made-up city. It's called Tarkov. All shit went bad crazy. The United States went in. The Russians went in. And, you know, they're fighting each other, right? In this, in this city called Tarkov. And besides those two forces, you also have scavengers. These guys are locals, which is the guy over to the left over here. And locals from around... Tarkov, um, with which you can enter the raid as well, and which can loot different items, which can you can you can help each other, you can kill each other, you can you can do so many crazy things. And there's one trade-off: uh, you have an inventory stash uh, under the character menu, which is over here. It's something looks like this. I have it filled up pretty neatly right now with some cool items. And over to the left you can you have your inventory slots so you can equip those items to your character. But there's the one trade of which I was talking about. Um, and that is if you play your main character and you enter the raid with the items that you have equipped. It. Because if you enter the raid uh, and you don't make it out, you die uh, while it's in the raid, you actually lose all the items which you have on you. So this makes sense, um, uh, gives the game actually a pretty good balance. Uh, and this is also what makes the game so freaking intense because you don't want to lose all your items of course you don't want to lose your awesome guns your awesome backpacks and everything you actually want to make sure or you try to make sure that you make it out alive to to loot all those items to bring them back to your stash so you can put them somewhere safe and secure you know but luckily or actually too bad that doesn't isn't always the case and then we have the scavengers. The scavenger, this guy has a Mosin, as you can see right now. It's actually a pretty cool sniper rifle. Uh, we're gonna try to utilize it to the best, uh, the best as we can. It's a really cool gun as well. Uh, and scavengers actually come with a with a preset, uh, uh, random set of items at the beginning of the game. And you know, you just have to make the best of it. It's that simple. So over here we have the map of Tarkov. You have different maps, different areas which you can explore, different raids you can enter. Uh, not all of them are available yet in beta, but uh, some of them are. Short line, factory, woods, customs, interchange, and I'm actually a really big fan of customs. So we're gonna play a game of customs. Uh, let's select the time phase. Which starts uh, just a quarter to six in the morning. Maybe we can see a nice sunrise. We play as Leona Temni, a random, random given name. He has, he has diving glasses, man. He looks actually pretty weird, especially with a sniper rifle. I wonder how that's gonna work out. And this game, this I don't know what I don't know what to tell you about this game, man. This game is, is, is it sometimes can be very scary. It can get very exciting. It can get very frustrating. Frustrating. Like I said, if you if you get shot in the back of your head while it's looting someone or whatever, you know, it's actually a really diverse game and it's really fun to play. It's a really cool shooter. Now one, one of the things uh, as a scavenger is that um, inside of the raids there are different different AI controlled people as well besides the online players which you join the game with. Uh, and those guys are scavengers as well, you know. And if you play as a scavenger those guys are actually friendly to you they're, or actually neutral. I don't believe they're friendly. They're neutral. But as soon as you start firing upon them, you know, if you start, start firing upon these neutral scavengers and while as you play as a scavenger, they're gonna fire back at you. And all of them are getting uh, <laughs> gonna go from zero to a fucking hundred. Dick, one of the other scavengers, which is in the neighborhood as well. And then we have the online players, right? The online players uh, join your raid at the very earliest point. Uh, one game in customs actually takes 50 minutes. Uh, so you join the game as a, as a with your main character as a, as an online player, uh, and the countdown starts to uh, starts to run. You know, from 50 minutes all the way down to zero. But as a scavenger, you join somewhere along those, 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 along that timeline, you know. So you actually have a little bit of a head start as, uh, as an online player playing your main character 
versus joining the game as a scavenger. Uh, but as a scavenger you actually spawn in different kind of locations as well. So that gives you actually pretty good advantage as well. So here we go, we have 43 minutes. Uh, on the top right corner you can see our extraction point, which are the old gate and the trailer park workshop shack. Oh, that was the wrong button. And this is the inventory. We have a power drill. I don't even know why we have a power drill, but what matter? It doesn't really matter. We also have a bandage. Bandage is very nice. It stops our blood loss. And we have some painkillers to prevent pain. Really logical over there. On the top left side we see our health bar, our hydration bar, and our, and our hunger bar, energy bar. And then over here underneath the health tab we see these different kinds of uh, parts of our body with different kinds of health meters. Uh, accounted to them as well, you know. Now, in this game, there's actually quite a lot of features, you know. There's blood loss, uh, there's pain, there's dehydration, uh, there's dizziness, there's broken limbs. There's actually all kinds of crazy things which can happen to you while it's in this raid and which are probably going to fuck you up over time as well, you know. So here we go. We're currently starting at the old gas station. It's marked by flyers just, just in time to, to witness our sunrise. And let's start losing, we Lo losing. Let's start looting. I want to start looting. I don't want to lose, man. So we go. We have a magazine over here. We have some grips and some modification for one of the guns. Nothing else is really special over here. I already know what places to look at uh, and what places not to look at mostly. I guess some guns from over there, man. I don't quite know exactly where it is, but someone's opening up this gun right now, man. Nothing over here. So, your main goal in this game is actually to to loot other people, lo uh, loot the run. Yeah. Uh, what is it? I don't know how to call it. Gather different ty types of items, different kinds of, of, of things inside of the raid uh, to either complete quests or to help you earn more money, which you can in time sell to traders. Um, and yeah, like I said, the thing what makes this game really intense is that if you lose or if you die inside a raid, all of these items are gone. They're gone and you have to start over again, you know? You have to start over again. You can buy things from traders, but you know, if, you, if you're in really bad luck and run out of money, you're in a really bad spot. Because you have to run around with something like a pistol or a hatchet, versus uh, other people walking around with body armor or head armor. Uh, helmets and, 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 and machine guns, you know, will be in a really bad position. So, don't try to die a lot. That's my recommendation. But it isn't always a, as easy, especially not in this game. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll find out as well because that's something which makes this re video really exciting. Um, if you're, if they put you in a really tight spot, and they scare the fucking shit out of me, which happens pretty occasionally happens really occasionally that it just scared the living shit up. And it's really fun. <laughs> so yeah, what can we do? What can we do? We are a lot of gunshots from over there. I want to check it out at the moment. I really like this motion with the scope man, it's actually pretty awesome. There's nothing over there at the gas station. I don't see anything anyone over here. On the train yard. Train track and we just jumped against some barbed wire. And we jump again against the bar fire. Come on, man, you can make the jump. There we go. Blood everywhere. Plus a little bit of health. Mostly my legs. I don't really feel like healing it. Fuck it, we're just going to carry on. Carry on. Nothing forever. Carry on. Carry on. Go. There's the body over there, man. So one of the main things you have to have to look out for, or you have to, have, to, have to actually pay attention to, is the sound. Sound is really important in this game. Because you can hear someone walking up to you uh, from a pretty meager distance away. Not really far away, but you can hear them from a pretty meager distance away. So, I do recommend paying attention to sound. 
if you, if, you, if you wanna get shot in the back or stabbed in the back, then I would definitely recommend putting on something else whilst playing this game. And you'll find out the hard way how important that feature actually is in this game. So far, so nothing. It's designed for good and a bad thing. <laughs> That's just three. I don't see anybody over there either. So let's make our way to that construction building over there. That, that, that weird framework. That's usually where a, a, a couple of AI players are. AI controlled scavengers. Uh, but that's also where the gunshots are coming from. So let's see if we can find and scope out uh, some of a couple of online players. Let's see if we can kill them and grab that loot. Because that's actually one of the most exciting things in this game. Finding people and putting them to sleep. Was that a hit? I don't see a body anywhere. I don't think I hit him. There's a body over there. Oh yes, we did hit him. Oh, we gave him a pretty good headshot, man. And he has a pretty awesome gun as well. What does he have? He has SKS. He has body armor. Yeah, give me the body armor, man. He has a backpack that's really awesome. It's just clear. has a li little bit more infrared space. Oh, he has a gun. He has a scope. He has. No. Wow, this guy's actually pretty well looted. That's okay, man. You can have my power draw. I don't care. And this tactical rig is also better. It has a couple more infrared slots than this one has. So it's actually really beneficial to take that one with us as well. Alright, take that with us. Take that. Get rid of all of this crap. Get rid of that. Actually, one is AK as well. But I don't know where to fit it. Can I fit it somewhere? I don't need this car. Put this there. Uh, I don't really need the rubles right now. Put this there. Put this there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Fuck the hand grenade. What else? What level is this guy? Level 9. Oh, fuck the stock tag. Get rid of the stock tag. Put this over there. Put this over there. Put this over there. Put this in here. Okay. Run, man. Run, son. We got a shit ton of him for a loot. Let's make a way to the old gate or the trailer park. Worker's check. Where's the trailer park? Worker's check. Trailer park. Worker's check. Trailer park. Worker's check. Did we pass it? We might have already passed it. Trailer park. No, trailer park is way down there. SKS. SKS is a little bit. This is a semi automatic rifle. It has a scope on it right now. Actually, I'd rather like it without the scope, but we don't have a lot of inventory space right now with all the guns inside of our backpack. This is actually a really good place to be at, you know. We have a lot of inventory, uh, a lot of value in our inventory right now. And my main goal right now is to make it out alive. That is my main priority right now, right here. Since I last played this game, which was about a year ago, they, they updated the maps, they put a lot more uh, escape routes in it. So a lot more ways to escape, a lot more places to escort in. But this also makes it a little bit difficult to navigate, because I don't quite know all of the, uh, the escape routes yet. So we're just gonna have to, to try our best to figure it out on our way. Usually the online players start either where I started just a moment ago, they start somewhere. Uh, near the old factory, or you start somewhere over there, uh, near the train station, where the trains are, uh, and the trailer, the trailer park also is somewhere, if I can remember well enough. So far so good. We only killed one guy, you know, and they actually have all, this, all these amazing guns. Oh well, they're not really that amazing, but they're actually pretty good. <laughs> so I'm actually really glad that I killed this guy with a, with a decent headshot as well, man. This guy didn't see it coming. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. People are still firing. Oh, snap. 
Oh, this is scavenger, I believe. Uh, I believe the trailer park exit is over here. We're near these containers over here. Let's see if we are in the right position. The grenades being <laughs> thrown, explosives are going off. Everything is going. <laughs> shit, hey, shit. Yes, extract, extract, extract. Extract, extract, extract. Extract, extract, extract. Bam. There we go. And this is first recording. First will be a little bit more exciting uh, than last time I tried it. Actually, really awesome. Raid ended. We survived. Leona Temni. We got a decent amount of loot. We killed one USAC guy. And now we actually get to the exciting part. Because I don't ha really have a lot of inventory space. Can I be storing this? What are you talking about? Of course it can. Of course it can, my friend. You can store the item in itself. Oh, wait. Yes, like this. Ha 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 ha. So we have that. We have this awesome scope. We have an attachment. We have quite a, quite a couple of attachments. Painkillers. Uh, I'm actually gonna put these things over here. We got some Mosin ammo. We got this awesome tactical rig. I'm gonna put this over here. We got M3 body armor. We got a Mosin. We got an SKS. We got a backpack. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this backpack. Let me just store this in here. Can I put the backpack over here? Uh, maybe I have to do this. Do this. So, like so, put the mouse in somewhere else, maybe. Like so, yes. Turn this, yes, yes. Almost. So close. Put the uh, AK over there, put the backpack over here, and then we actually made it. Thank you very much. Na na na.